Hey there, everyone. Uh, I can't hear myself. Damn. Um, why can't I hear myself? There, that's fine. There we go. So, I hope you guys caught that new intro we got. Looked pretty good. I hope it turned out pretty good. Uh, that was made by our friend Aaron Anderson. He, uh, Took some time and did that for us, and um, well, I'm really happy with it. Uh, um, mind if I show it again? I want to show it again. Sorry. Yeah. Tell me what you think. Let me know. There's two people there already. Thanks for joining. Um. So so I guess I'm going to start working on the panels. I've been kind of wanting to do this, but putting it off a little bit because I've been going so hard on my on my um, sand crawler, the interior. Uh, but I got to get back to this. Um, it's commission and, you know, you need money. So got to get back to the stuff that it makes you money. Can't always do everything you want to do with passion that you have. So um yeah. Okay. So I'll start off with let I'm doing the bottom and um, I kind of want to talk a little bit about some of these panels. Um, first off, if you don't have very good reference pictures of this thing, uh, I suggest you contact Steve Dimzo. Um, he has, he sells uh, a file <clears throat> filled with tons of, um, um, reference pictures for the for top bottom all over. He was I guess he was part of making the uh, master replicas Falcon. Um, I made my first one without doing using that reference, and now that I've seen it, uh, there's like 250 pictures in there, up close, very detailed. I'm going to show some pictures on here, and which kind of what I want to talk a little bit about. Um, I'm starting off with the red. Which, if you're using ArchiveX, uh, there's a good video on on the um, Facebook page that I posted that uh, uh, that guy Cohen had put up, uh, showing what he used for his different colors. Um, SP Daylight Red is what I'm using, and then there's different oversprays and stuff that that give it other colors. You know, uh, Lark Dark and Reefer gray and stuff like that. I'm starting off with the reds. Um, everybody has a different way of doing this. Like talking to John, he likes to do, well, I don't know how he does the bottom, but on the top, he does like pizza slices. He'll do like one triangle or run triangle and finish that whole thing and then move on to another triangle and so on and so forth. I don't think I would like doing that. I want to get all my colors done because I absolutely hate switching colors on the airbrush it just I, it annoys me and i just cleaning it out changing colors i do it as little as i possibly can um the other thing that i did when i made my first falcon and kind of kick myself in the ass now that i did it i glued these these uh pieces these these louvers or whatever they are on and you have to paint underneath them so the last time i left those on and off and glued them on later and i was too quick to put this together the bottom together and i glued them all on and then i started looking at putting the triangular pieces that go on in between and i'm like oh shoot that's gonna be a pain in the butt to and then i remembered i did it the correct way before so the top all those louvers are off but for right now, I'm just going to paint over them, paint them red, and then tape underneath and tape around just for these three. It's just easier than trying to rip them off and, and redo them. Um, yeah, it's, it's just one more extra step that I wish I'd have done right the first time. But yeah, it's been two years since I made my first Falcon. Um, this one's coming along. So... I'm going to start showing some reference and I want to talk about some of the reference. Um, 
I don't know if anybody's as as anal as I am about this, but I oh, come on, show it. Wait, oh, hold on. Remove. Okay, so um, I mean, these are the kind of quality pictures that, that I told you about, the, the ones from Steve. Uh, th there's tons of them. Uh, there's a whole bunch, and I wish I had them to begin with, but I didn't. Um, they're gorgeous. There's a lot of the bottom, and, I, and, and on the bottom, I wish I'd have, I, you know, wish I had these before. Um, cause I really just kind of went off of, of this picture for when I was building it before I just, let me bring this one up. Are you working? It was this one I used. Right. Jeez. This is the picture that I use. Stop screen. Present. It only lets me put up one picture, so I'm sorry, guys. It, it just it's just the way StreamYard is. I can I have to go through a couple steps to bring up a different picture. Um, this is the picture that I went off of before, <clears throat> and it's great. Don't get me wrong, it's a good picture to go off of, uh, but it's not as detailed as those other ones, obviously, and and more up close. Um, you know, on this you can't see these hash marks very well. There's two dash dash lines here. Hopefully, you know, that's that's something everybody wants to add on to theirs. Um, and it's great for for for, you know, for reference. But these other pictures are just way better. Uh, let me bring up the other one again. There it is. OK, so I kind of want to talk about this specific. Well, even here's a good picture to look at. So, okay. So here's overspray. <clears throat> and that happened because they taped up here and the tape didn't stick very well and spray went underneath, right? Uh, that's something I like adding. I like to make sure that that's on there. You know, it's, it's a mistake, but you know what? It's a cool mistake. And I try my best to keep it that way. And go be as um, true to the the reference as possible, and then say like, "There's another picture over here, <clears throat> this here." So you see, they taped it, but they didn't tape it exactly the same as they should have, because like, there. See how it's the line, the um, the 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 panel line is here, right? But they went past it on this case and on some other cases they've gone before it uh where you can see here's another here's another one where the the tape went they tape past it past the panel line and it's not a perfect not a perfect um it's definitely not a perfect uh uh paint job because they kind of just rushed it um it's you see it specifically a lot on the top which is you know you don't see the bottom that much but um on the top, you see a lot of that uh, overspray, especially in, in this area, you see a lot of that overspray. Um, and then there's there's things like there's things like, you know, these chips and this is just overspray as well. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I love this miscolored. Um, I'm going to say Ferrari piece. I love it. I think it's so cool. I don't know why. I'd love to know the reason why it's it's blue like that. I'm sure it was just that they I don't know. See, look, it's this is part of that piece. Okay. Is it? I'm not sure. But like it's blue here and blue here. So 
this isn't part of that that kit part so i don't know why that that's blue and i'd love to know why but i made sure that my last one had that blue piece on it's a it's it's actually a favorite part of mine on this thing and it, it's stupid but i don't know why so the other hard part about doing these 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 falcons is figuring out like this color okay so that's gray right that's a kind of gray but which kind of gray you know if i look at that i think that's a heavy sp light lark gray I, I, that's kind of my impression. Um, again, I'm going off of Archivex colors because that's that's what I use because I'm stupid and I don't know how to mix up my own and I don't have that that eye to mix up my own. So, um, yeah, and like like look at this. There's there's this is this is it's the line. It's not filled in perfectly right along that panel line. It's it's squared off there. And down into here so and these are these these are these hash marks that i was telling you about that you can't see in the other picture so sometimes they look like that looks like a marker to me like they used a, a, a sharpie marker to do that and then some of them look like paint like they sprayed them and there's all these little dots so as well there's tons of these they're all over the they're all over the top they're all over the bottom um and the splatter if you get if you haven't watched that video that that guy made that i put up just check it out he talks about the splatter the splatter is actually the coolest part of the whole falcon um it's real thin down paint and it's just flicked on with a toothbrush well i i did mine with a toothbrush it just gets to a lot of random really thinned and then you know i'll do another spritz of it another spritz of it you know just to get different you know, some of them are lighter, some of them are darker, you know. Um, so, and, you know, like these streaks. Let's talk about these streaks here. Okay, so like, like uh, maybe not that one. Um, there's streaks on here that are made. Oh, well, there's a great picture of this at uh, the bottom. Like, that's an awesome picture. See, and like when I was doing mine, I had no pictures of these these sidewalls underneath here. I had no idea. I, I, I think mine's pretty decently accurate, but it's not, it's not perfect. Um, and the other thing I want to talk about is these pits. Everybody makes them dark. Everybody does like a real dark gray in there. They're not, they're really not. Um, I'd have to show you more on the top because they are, they are a very they're they're the same color as the um the base coat but then just a little bit of of weathering inside okay so look at that that's not paint that was not painted that was that was drawn on by a tiny magic marker tiny magic marker these these dots are, are airbrush paints airbrushed on that was drawn by a marker so like i'm just showing some of these these bottom reference pictures for now just before i start painting um like i said spend the 50 bucks man it's 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 so worth it um and even here so what what i what i'm thinking they did was they just sprayed it and then scraped it with with uh sandpaper just to get that off just to get that little so and again i'm gonna have to go and paint these these parts here the gray color that they are separately tape it all up oh, what an annoying i wish i'd have I'd kick myself in the ass for doing that for not doing that and look at these these are i don't know the kit parts that these are i don't know the sh the, the tanks or ships that they're from but that's like a yellowish i don't know if that's aged plastic or what or re cast resin i don't really know So like in there, really good, really good pictures, really good reference of these. Um, I mean, some people might ask me for them, and I, I and, and I, you know, in all honesty, I'd be, I, I don't really want to send them to somebody because, you know, he's trying to make money off of. I don't want to take away his money from him. So, if you want them, 
you know, write them and he, he's more than happy to send them to you. He'll send you a thumbnail, a thumb drive, a flash drive, or I just recently, I asked him to send it with a Wii transfer and, and showed him how to do that. So, um, yeah, I wanted to show these streaks too. So um, I think if you watch that Diagostini video where they talk about it, um, I just use post-it notes. I got to find it. Oh, right. There's a good one right there. Just put a post-it note on there spray your airbrush on the post-it note but just let it mist past the post note and that'll give you that nice clean line with some overspray these pictures are gorgeous man i'm so i wish i had these so and and i didn't i just recently got these from from De steve um and the guy I'm commissioning for this for, Joseph, I was just talking to him about some of this stuff because, you know, I want to, when I show you the top and, you know, I think Master Replicas is kind of what, what ruined, what kind of brought everybody to think that the pits were real dark. They're not. God, this thing's amazing, isn't it? So, like on the Diagostini Di Falcon, most of these damage parts are, cookie cutter they look very circular they kind of they don't look good they really don't take a dremel gouge it out sand it out file it out make it look more natural more like more like natural um weathering see like this here it looks blue but it is actually light reefer gray which is a which is a bluish gray Okay, it's a little darker than this, but then when you miss it with at the end with the grime, it turns that gray that color. Like it makes it the the, the grime the over the um, misting at the end will turn that color to bluish, which is really cool. You know, when I was when I was first painting my first one of these, I was I knew I had to mist it. Okay, I knew I talked to so many people about how to do it. And I talked to Guy about doing it because, you know, I watched his video. And then um, I knew at the end I had to miss it. But up until that point, everything looks so bright and colorful and stark. All the colors were really popping and it, it just didn't look right to me. And I remember, you know, I this was the Falcon was the first piece that I'd ever painted. And then once I once I once I did the final misting at the end with the base color, which is, I use grime, um, light grime. It, I was, well, I, when I was doing it, I was like, holy crap, this is, this is amazing. Like it just, it toned all those down. It blended them all together and took away a lot of the stark contrast of all the, the, the different, you know, dark grays, reds, yellows and stuff. It made it just, it was like, I was like, it's like magic actually. It's just, I was just in, in awe of what it did once I started spraying at the end, the misting. See, like, this is weird. That looks like marker or topically applied, you know, paint. But that is done after they misted it. That's too too dark. That, that just, like, this is probably the same color over here, but that's been misted with the, with the base coat. Okay, whereas this was not misted, and here, okay, here's a, here's a good example of what I was talking about. Uh, so like in in this 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 um, notch, there's gray paint because they just went over the top with a piece of tape all the way across, you know, not worrying about that and this. And on the same on the opposite side. You have here's the tape line right here. It just goes right over these, but it leaves this, leaves this part the base color. I try to replicate that. I try to replicate that and make it look exactly like that. Over here, yeah. See, they just went here with a piece of tape, okay, along this line, and then they sprayed it. But because it didn't get in these notches, paint went underneath it. And and made that look like they they went over each part with tape, but they didn't. 
so here's you know here's here's one color uh i don't really know i have to look at my notes what i have for this but this looks like a dark reefer gray and then then they have another another gray uh, another light i'm sorry dark lark here it's just so many different colors on this. You you kind of have to like take each individual area. See, like this is this looks like heavy light reefer gray to me with some 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 um, light lark gray there and splattered a little bit. I might be wrong, you know, but that's just how I see it. I was just. I'm so glad I didn't glue these suckers on because trying to tape, trying to paint this with these triangular pieces that stick up would be just a nightmare. And I wish I, I, I wish I hadn't done this part, let alone that part. I don't know. I think you, Jeff, if you're there, I think I saw you put these on before you painted these. You're going to have a lot of fun with that. So then, okay. So here's another technique they use right so they taped it and then that looks like overspray to me a little bit of they, they sprayed it here and the, the the paint kind of like sprayed into this area whereas this looks like you know obviously this looks like uh staining thin down paint that was st that's stained i could be wrong but that's just how i see it I am in no means, I am by no means an expert, not whatsoever. So, okay, so here again, here's the, here's those lines. And you can kind of see what they did here. They put a, a piece of tape, probably. They didn't use post-it notes. Piece of tape, just a, just a, just sprayed it on the tape, and it went on the, on the, on the, the, sh the ship. And then they kind of miss it over top of it with another another layer so it wasn't so hard edge and there's a couple of places where where like okay so like here and here i think that's a light lark gray and i think this is a reefer gray but then like sprayed over but there are some places where like you might have um light lark gray such a long word i wish it was a different color different name and then right next to it might be another panel but they sprayed this like two times whereas maybe they would have sprayed the other panel once just a light misting so i don't know tell me what you think guys if you're there and you can comment i'd love to hear what you think about what i you know what i'm talking about but i find it fascinating i don't know why it's 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 you know most people will be like you know, I talk, try to talk to my wife about this. She'd be like, yeah, whatever. But to me, some of this stuff is just, it's fascinating. I love looking at these pictures and thinking, picture my picture and how they did this when they did it, you know? It's just gorgeous. Like I said, take, t spend the money. It's worth it. It's so worth it. I think it, I think it's like 50 bucks, maybe. Uh, you know what? that's scratched and i i'm really bad at scratching away colors like when i it, eh, that's not too hard um i've tried it on my other one and it just my scratching of paint doesn't look right i don't know to me it doesn't i think i, I need to work on that a little bit but see like these this color in my mind is the same as this color but this is darker and that's you know just a lighter or, or it might be reefer I, i'm not sure but i think i see a difference between this here and this here i'm glad my pointer's on these colors i'm talking <laughs> and i think a lot of people already know what they did with you know i don't know why there's a five there couldn't tell you but a lot of a lot of the lot in a lot of the spots there's the model makers names which I ended up putting my kids' names on and some people who were very important to me who passed, I put their names on. So instead of the model makers, I did my own thing. Oh, cool. I didn't ever notice this before. How it's, you know, it's 
it's not completely colored in. They put a piece of tape here to give it this odd this odd shaped square. I don't think I did that on my last one. Probably not. I don't remember doing it. What is that? Couldn't tell you. So just, I don't know, um, just to give you an idea of what I'm looking at here. Um, I'm just going to do some red today, I think. I, I, I don't know how far I'm going to go. But uh, let's 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 look at those top pits. I really want to show that because I want to I, I think this is to me what I want to do is educate. You know, I don't I don't pretend to know everything, but I, I like to figure things out and I like if I'm wrong for somebody to tell me I'm wrong. Oh, uh, there's Lauren's name. Lauren Peterson's name. Very cool. I'd love to meet him. I got to meet this guy. Uh, if you watch the video with him and uh, Adam Savage, it was a great video, especially when they're talking about the sand crawl in the beginning. It was, it was freaking perfect. It was awesome. So I'm going to hop to the front. These are all back pictures. So I'm going to just get rid of this and I'll bring up a front picture. Let's bring up a a picture of the, the um let's bring up a picture of the top pits just so i can show you what they look like for real instead of the dark black that everybody even me when i did it i did but I, I made them black and they're not uh let's see is that a good picture yeah that's a good one and I'll find another one that shows it even better, I think. Uh, it shows it a little dark. Um, let's see. I guess these are the ones I'm going to have to show. Did I already show that one? Nope. I know I found a really good picture. Oh, there's a perfect one. Okay. So let's just this present do this one yes there we go so look at that that is one of the top pits and it really is mostly just the same color as the, the whole that the hull plating um with a little bit of you know, light lark, light lark gray. Yeah. Light lark, lark, light gray and some dark gray and some rust, but it's not all black. Like the master replica, the one they did. And a lot of people who build it end up making it all black, very dark. I did myself. I did it too. Um, and I wish I hadn't because after seeing these pictures, and I don't know why I didn't notice it. I should have noticed it, but I was, you know, it was the first model I ever made. I was very, very, very green. But um, yeah, I just I I I saw these pictures and I showed it to the guy who I'm doing this Falcon for. I'm like, holy crap, these are not dark, they're very, very light. And he's like, Yep, that's why I'm glad you're painting this for me. So <laughs> I gotta add these in yet. Um when I paint this, then I'm going to go over it with a Dremel and get the gouge just a little bit. So it takes away the color, the paint, the color paint. That's what they did over here too. You can see that you can see the gouges after they've painted it. It's pretty cool. But like I said, if you, you know, you're painting yours, don't make them dark. They're not dark. In fact, I have another picture here that shows stop screen, present, share screen. Let's see if it's right, right front. There it is. There. See? Very light. Not dark at all. Just looks so much better like that. If you look at the Master Replica one, you see that it's that it's 
it's like real dark, like charcoal color. Very cool. Oh, look at that. They they cut these in. They cut these lines in. See that that line and that line. Those are those are scratched in. Wow. With the razor knife, they just gouged it. Very cool. Very, very cool. Like you can see these are styrene edges. These are styrene edges. But that looks like it was just, or it took a razor knife and just gouged, just put two lines and made a square, a rectangle. Pretty cool. So I guess I should get to painting. I've been putting it off a little bit. <laughs> uh, let's bring up, uh, let's bring up a picture of the area that I'm painting so I can, let's find it. Um, too many windows. At least, at least I have two screens. I can do this. This is it works so much better with two with two two monitors. Couldn't do this without two monitors. Let's bring up the bottom. And let's just right there. It is okay. Share. I need to make this a lot easier. Okay. So, like I said, I'm going to be doing this square and the other two. The other two are a little more complicated. Nope, that way. No John today on the happy little tourist. It's just me. Just me today. Oh, yeah. I guess you don't want to keep talking about this. So there's the other two that I got to do. But there's actually better pictures. Oh, you can see that they scraped away there on that side too. Both sides. There's two panels down there that are, are the, the, the SP Daylight Red. Come on, where you at, baby? So I got to look on my file again. Sorry, guys. Riveting video. Uh, I know I had a good picture of that. There they are. There they are. Okay. Share. There. Okay. So, like I said, God, I wish I hadn't put these suckers on. Pain in the butt. And then I got to go and paint this and repaint this and repaint that. So, uh, all right. So, I'm going to start with that one, I think. And hopefully you guys can see. I'm going to set this up so you guys can see it pretty good. I can't make that one small to keep it on the screen. So, we're just going to get on here and just do this like this yeah i might have to move it around a little bit there might be parts where you can't see what i'm doing but this is what it is so i'm gonna actually do a part and then find another reference picture that i have for those i would i have like three parts taped off of the red for now and then i'm gonna i'm gonna jump take those off and then jump to another section um like i said i i like to do all one color at one time it's just i hate cleanup hate it hate it hate it so sorry just mixing up my paint just a little bit a little bit of red last time i did this last time i painted this falcon i was getting so frustrated because it wasn't it wasn't spraying good and after I got off the camera, I realized I had camera fart, camera brain fart, because sometimes when I'm on camera, I can't really think, my head don't think straight. And then I realized it was too thick. The paint was too thick. and It wasn't spraying good through the, through the airbrush. Then after I got off and realized what I did, 
It's like, oh, you dumbass. Um, another thing that I, I kind of want to point out is I like to tape around because especially with like red, especially red, mainly only red, even if you're just spraying straight on, the mist goes all over the place. Like you, if you don't tape around the edges and try to keep it contained in, you will get little specks of red all over that you'll have to tape up later and respray the the base coat. It's a pain in the ass. It's a it just usually seems to be just the red that does that. Reds that do that. The other colors you can kind of blend away with, you know, misting and um misting and, and weathering, but red, that's not you can't mist and weather red. So here we go. And we're just do this one over here. Now that's pretty dark, so we're gonna go a little heavy on that. This might I may have to do it like this, I think. Let's put down a uh, piece of foam so don't go in, don't damage any edges. Like so. I thought I made a I thought that I had made a um, paint booth big enough to do big projects such as this, but apparently I did not. And I can't imagine what I'm going to do when I start building my sand crawler, when I start painting the sand crawler. I'm not going to be able to use this for that at all. All right. So, yeah, you like over here, you can see it sprayed around the edge and then. Well, you can't see in the rack, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it and I'll show you later. But yeah, so just a light spray of it over there and over here. Pretty annoyed that I gotta go back over it then. We'll do we'll do this one too, because I'm gonna let it dry and then put another coat on. And this one, let's get this one a little bit. I gotta angle it because I'm gonna have if I don't, I'm gonna have a shadow in there. And it's gotta get in that corner. There you go. And need a bigger spray booth. Yeah, you can see that. See, I just and I'm just gonna do it in layers because it'll it'll lay better that way. It'll just be more uniform instead of trying to just put it all on on one shot. I'm gonna do it in a couple couple layers. Uh, like I think there's like oh god, how many colors? Uh, yellow, red three or four different gray colors, right? Um, let's see. Rust. There's a lot of colors on this sucker. But I think the panels are just a couple of uh, those grays and um, red and yellow. Let's turn it this way. And get that one again. So, like, I have to turn it around now and get that area. See, okay. <laughs> Over here, you can see these edges, right? The edges where the tape is sitting in. Even though I sprayed right there, it's still spraying out. I bet there's some red over here, too. But I'm not really worried about that right now. Red just gets everywhere, and it just seems like you kind of need to tape farther out than just over your square. So I'm going to turn this way so I can get on this angle. Yep. It's big, it's bulky, it's a pain in the ass, but once you get done, you'll be so happy. All right, I think those are good. I don't want to go too heavy. Oh. 
dry those and we'll move on to the ones in the front. Get that tape over one. So annoyed, I gotta go over that again. All right, so we're gonna get this area front here, and I'm gonna show the reference for that. Hey, Kaz, how's it going? How's it going, buddy? Thanks for joining. It's the first time I've met you. Yeah. Hap welcome to welcome on, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna find a picture of the front there that I'm doing. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Is that? Share. I don't know. I I I'm honestly a little surprised people want to watch this, but hey, if you guys like it, it's fine. I'm happy. I'm happy to do it. So I'm gonna do this square here, which is in the front. Okay. And the thank you getting back in the model after years and not do it. Not quite quite enjoy seeing everybody's posts on their first. That's why I made it, brother. I'm, I I, I want to see people's work. I love it. Um, so, like, they didn't follow this curve pattern. They just right across the tape, straight right across. And that's what I did. So, I'm going to paint that and get that painted because then I have to take that tape off and get that square that I did underneath there. And I know I'm going to get some overspray down here. So, we're going to add more tape on that section. Just a little more. Just to keep the red from going all over the place, which it does. I'm okay. It, I mean, it's a lot of tape, but you know what? It saves me another couple hours of taping and repainting that spot. Can you see that? Uh, yeah. Let me get rid of that big screen. Oop. Hi. Ah. All right, so first coat, and like I said, you don't want to just you don't want to just like saturate it. You want to do it in layers. Um, these archive X colors work better if you do in layers. If you saturate it, you might get runs. You might get um, hard edges on your on your tape. Sure, getting that corner real good. Probably two or three. If you have any questions, please, you know, ask. Let me know what you think. I bet you any money some paint got in there. It's annoying. And we're going to try to reuse some of this in other sections because there's one little square right here I got to get. And then I've got all the parts that I have taped off. And there's a, there's a couple more red, um, a couple more red areas on here that I'm going to have to tape a little bit to get. Hopefully that's not too boring for you. Yep. I see a little overspray in there, which is okay. Which is all right. I kind of enjoy the overspray. There, there, and use. Make sure I get like these edges because it'll fly over there. It's annoying, but it will. Maybe even down here. There's a tiny little square. You know, when I did my base coat, I was kind of worried that I didn't go dark enough with it because I did a, a white um, primer coat. And now that I'm looking at it, I, you know, even before today, I thought to myself, should I go over it with another coat of the base color? But no, not going to. I think it's good. And I think once I do the 
Now, I know this square is a little darker, a little bit darker than the other ones. So is this one. A little bit more on those. Um, because once I do, you gotta think about this, okay? So, which I didn't figure, think about this on my first time. Um, So when you're doing your base coat and you're going to miss at the end, think of it as two thirds. Okay. You base coat the first two thirds of it, meaning the whole thing, but you don't want to go full as dark as you want it to be. Because then once you apply your, your misting at the end, that's a third coat basically. Right. And you'll end up going too dark, too past what you want it to look like. So you have to, and it's hard for me sometimes to do this. Um, see, I got a little red overspray there from this one. Um, it's hard for me sometimes. Like I looked at it, this base coat, and I thought, all right, maybe that's a little too light. Okay. And and sometimes I don't trust my own process. I don't trust myself. I, I'm a, and then I use I used to just go back and repaint it, right? Which was stupid. Um and there's times where I look at this and I think it's too light, but then um, I, in my head, I stop myself and I think, all right, I've just got to trust the process because it doesn't look like it's supposed to look until the end. Right. I, I, I hope that makes sense. Uh, that makes sense in my own head, but um, I'll try to save some of this extra paint tape just so I don't have to keep using a whole roll of it. It's cheap tape, but... I use the painter's tape to get myself some nice hard edges and it's a little more expensive, right? But then I'll just use regular plain old um, masking tape, do dollar store masking tape just to mark off, you know, all this white so that it, you know, it, um, it's cheap and it doesn't, you can use a lot of it. Oh, I think that's looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And this, once I get this paint off, this tape off, I'll, 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 I'll lay it flat. You can see it then. Look at the ref then and figure out where I got to tape off next. I think this area is red. And I, instead of trying to scrape, scrape this off my finger, um i'll use these little uh chisels they're they're rubber chisels um because i've already had where i've tried to get the tape off ended up scratching the um the base coat um so i just you know it helps just to grab it and just take it off rather than trying to scratch it with your finger because i've just scratched off too much paint that way uh the blue tape i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put on new blue tape because I want a nice, good, solid um, line. Nice, tight line. So, I'm happy. Looking good. Oh, see, there's some freaking overspray. I'm going to have to. Well, that's going to. That's in the, the, the gouge area. I hope you can see that right there. It's a little bit of red. Got through. It just, it goes in places you don't want it to go. Especially the red. I don't know why. I mean, it just stands out more so. But it's a pain in the neck. What's up, Dill? How's it going, brother? Good to see you join, brother. Uh, learning question for me. Would it help doing a light clear coat around the tape edge to seal the edge and prevent paint overspray? Or would that hinder the final paintwork appearance? All right. So that's a good question. Um, sometimes you want overspray. Uh, so like, okay. So like I have some overspray down in there. Okay. It's kind of unavoidable. Um, but when you're, when you start weathering it, you can cover up a lot of that. Like that I'll have to, I'll probably have to go over that with a little bit of, of the base coat because I, I, it really got through, but even that wasn't around the edge. That was way over here. Kaz. Like it, it just, it just happened that the tape was separated a little bit and it went through into that spot. 
Uh, the clear coat, I don't ever use clear coats. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of people question, should I use a clear coat at the end? Uh, but most clear coats have a, a sheen to them. And I don't want no sheen to this. I want this to be dead flat. Like I want it to be such flat paint. Um, I know you can get flat. You can get some flat clear coat, but it's not really completely flat. Um, so no, I, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest doing that. I, I would suggest just, uh, just making sure your, your tape on your, on your edges is, is pushed down real good. Um, like, like I said, I use this too, even just to get this little, this little, rounded edge to push the tape in the corners um but then you want to overspray sometimes too so it's totally up to you guys um i've never used the clear coat to do it in fact the one what was it the um the blue cloud car i did i just found the perfect damn color it was perfect and it was supposed to be flat matte but there was too much of a sheen to it so i ended up spraying it with a with a clear flat color and i can even though i've put that flat color that flat um clear coat on i can still see a sheen um and i don't want any i want this to be completely flat like i said before okay so i can see some oversprays even though i taped the shit out of this thing right there's there, there's some down here, there's there. Like I told you, it's the red is a little brutal. And if I, when I do a final misting, if I go, you know, okay, so like here, down in this area, this is going to get a lot of dark weathering because of the gouges there. I can just go over that red and you, you won't even see that. Um, and even like here, it's so light that, that, once I go over it with the misting, like I said, you can hide some of these things with weathering too. And then some places you want overspray, like uh, specifically up top on the top, right in this area, there's overspray that gets on some parts in the in that are tucked down in there. Do you want that? Sure, no problem, because that's why I'm doing these videos. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. What do you think? Can you see it? Yeah. All right. So now I've got to find the other red, the other red uh, areas, which um, I'm going to share the screen and show you guys as well. Um, I go back to my base picture, the one I used before, and just quickly look to see where it's set located, and then I will um, find another picture that has a more clear view of it all right so we got this one and this one we need to get this one i don't have the mandibles attached yet so we ain't going to worry about those there's one there one there one there and one more here that's going to be a bear yeah that one's on an edge that one's just in the corner okay i'm going to tape some of these up Try talking while I'm taping him, but it's kind of boring to watch taping. All right, so and then orientate myself where I'm supposed where I where I where I'm supposed to be. Okay, so holding it like this, and we want the bottom left corner, which is right there. Right, and we're gonna tape that section up. Should have made a damn bigger one. <laughs> Can't possibly make a bigger one. All right. So I'm going to keep my. I can't. I wish I could just make that smaller in the corner, but I can't. Uh, blue tape. So that goes. Let me find the other. The other one. There's another video. Another picture of that corner. That I know I have. Just finding it. Uh, 
Right there you are. Okay. So we could talk about this a little bit, this corner. Just to give you a talk about what I'm doing here. So it's really, it's deep down in there. And there's a lot of different angles to it. Like you got here, 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 and then it cuts down in there and it stays along that whole edge. And like I said, right here is two different, it goes like this, cuts in and over. Um, everything else looks pretty much right along the panel lines other than here. Okay, so... Oh, there's a number four there. What were those numbers for? Looks so much bigger on screen than it does on the on the uh, on the Falcon. So we're gonna get that edge first. Go there. Um, I had that tool here somewhere. There it is. I like to push that in the corner there. Let me make that bigger for you. Yeah. Let's remove that. And get that real tight in there so we get a little bit less overspray. And then I'm going to use my scissors. If I can find them. There. They are, to get that weird edge. Let's see here. So it goes right here. Right there. But I'm getting past that, I don't know what you call it, like rib that sticks out. Just like so. I like to keep it pretty. I know it's stupid, but I'm going to get as close to the original reference as i can without being ridiculous and doing all kinds of the crazy just you can't get everything exactly the same you can try but like splatter forget about it you're never going to get that remotely the same um and then let's see here we're going to go up to that panel we're going to cut square again. I knew this one was going to be a little more difficult. So we, st we definitely want that, that edge. Yep, yep, yep. Just like that. The weird ones, the odd-shaped ones are cool. Try to tape them. Not so much cool. <laughs> All right, how far? We're going to go past this little thing here, right? Right there. Just like so. So it's just a little bit different. Probably could have made that better. Good enough. Now there, I'm going to probably get some overspray underneath the tape because it's not sitting completely flat. And like I said, if, if, okay, so if you don't get it flat, all right, let's just say you don't, right? The red will, you'll see the red underneath that sprays underneath the tape, okay? But then if it really bothers you that much, you, it's easier, it's easy at the end to just put a piece of tape flat here and go right over top and spray it with the base color. Though, and then it, it, you lose that overspray, okay? The red is such a pain in the butt. To, to do, um, you gotta be just just keep being on your toes on what you what you're supposed to you know how how good your taint job is. Only with red, I think. All right, so this doesn't go all the way across. That is not true. You don't see the flat clear coat at all if you spray it correctly. Oh, well, maybe. I, I I did when I was when I was doing mine. So uh let's see. It doesn't go all the way over to that corner. It stops prior to that. So there. And 
there. There. That's good. That's good. All right, we got that one. Now let's see where the other ones are at here. Uh, bring this one up. And then we got one in this corner here. Red. Yep. Spin it. Spin it. And you get that corner, which is actually depressed in there. It's down in there. Okay. So let's see here. It's not on the edge. It's in further. Damn it. I'm gonna turn my turn my falcon so I can orientate it the way my picture is. That'll help me do it correctly at least. All right. So and one here. There. And that helped a lot. Going out, giving it the right orientation. There. And it goes past, so we're going to go there. Nope, not straight enough. Uh, one more. Okay, now we got the one up here. Yep. Okay. So it's after the second panel. Sorry, guys. I know this is boring as hell, but. It's what it is. And then let's say it goes here. Like so. And these go on a slight little angle to each other. Like it's, it's more like a tree. that and i think one more which is right in here yep and let me see if i can find a better view of that that would help to as these let's see let's get rid of that one and we will find this one mm. all right guys looking for a reference trying to find oh there's another spot nope i got that one uh i don't see any other pictures of that area i don't have any of that red triangle on that corridor there Hmm. Nope. I'm going to have to go off that picture. I'm going to have to go off this one. Give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. There. So I'm looking here. And I don't have another angle of that. So I'm just going to tape it. Do it as I think. There and let's see right there. Yep, covers that. 
You spend more time taping than you do actually painting. At least I do. You can spend hours taping just to get one little spot. There we go. All right. Now I want to tape it up so that I don't get any overspray if I have to, if I don't need to. No, I know I'm going to. Especially here. That clean. And that clean. And that clean. Slide out on me. All right, and I think this will be the end of the red for the bottom. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna do the, the sections on the bottom, uh, on the top these these areas, so I can I can glue those pieces on then. Um, and <laughs> yeah, pain in the butt. All right, red. Finish up the red. Really. After the red, I'll probably stop and do the gray tomorrow. Well, maybe tomorrow. There. A lot of taping for probably 15 minutes of painting. There we go. All right. So let's just put new tape on that one. There. All right, we're going to angle it so we can get in that corner. You guys, let's put, let's put this, get rid of this reference picture. And remove, there we go. There we go. And the red will be all be done on the bottom. Putting the red on actually made the base color look darker than, than it did before I started. I know you're not going to be able to see this, but I'm just going to turn it a little bit. Oh, you can see that. Let's see, I'm going to get some overspray underneath there. You know it. Beauty. All right. So I think we're done. With the bottom. See how it turned out. No, not bad. Pretty good. Yep, more overspray there and there. Like I said, the red kind of sucked for overspraying. But it's easy to get rid of. Water. Red on the bottom's finished. It's a start. There we go. All right. Let's see here. So. 
like I said, I'm going to probably grab the top and do some of the red on the top. Oh, I got the paint in there. Give me one second. I'm going to grab the top and put that under here and start taping. Ah, there I did the freaking triangles on the top. So, so, as you can see, I put the triangles on the top. Dumbass. Um, I can't believe four people are still watching this. Anyway, let's uh, get rid of that one. We'll bring up the top and kind of look at what that looks like, where I got to go. Uh, let's see here. Bottom, top. top. All right, so let's get an overall, just to get an idea of what we're looking at. And bring that up for you guys to see. Come on, work, work, work. You know, I, I thought that having john on to do this the last time would be a little less boring would it, i mean it was definitely more 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 fun to have him on but uh i've had people say to me you know i can't really if you guys are just talking in little screens i can't see what you guys are doing and uh there's a lot more red on here so i think i'm just gonna do these these triangles here probably stop the stream because i think up here is where taping is going to get a little bit more um, involved. And then when I spray some of these sections, I'm going to spray and then tack it with some, um, some tape and take some of the paint off like over here. But like this area is going to be a little bit difficult to tape. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream so far. Um, like I said, I'm going to jump off and do these reds. Um, I just want to give you an idea of how things were going and talk about, you know, the reference. So um, thanks for showing up, guys. I really appreciate you you showing up and commenting. Um, you're welcome, Kaz. And uh, I don't have an outro yet for the, for the new channel. So I'm just going to play the intro, which I love again. And uh, just say goodbye. Thanks, guys, for joining. Oh, by the way, we're going to have um, next Tuesday, we're going to have Michael Hawes come on. And we're just going to be just sitting around talking studio scale, talking about his new uh, collection room. Um, it's freaking crazy. It's so good. It's displayed pro so amazing. Um, definitely get ideas from that just on what i want to do happy new year kaz i appreciate it hope you guys had a nice christmas um but yeah we're gonna do tuesday with uh michael hawes and i'm gonna try to get a shooting the ships one day next week uh trying to line it up with a bunch a bunch of our guys and um the second week of june J january like sometime after the seventh will be um uh, jason eaton and i'm still trying to get john goodson on he's been very busy working on things at ilm so <laughs> takes a little precedence over our dumb little show so all right guys thanks see you next time